this is Merrick Larwood. Who is he? You may know him as a comedian who is sometimes on television but always bald. What is this? It's his show in which he plans to make an internet viral hit video. Why? So he can make so much money he doesn't have to speak to people or do any work ever again. Get the concept? Yes. Merrick Viral Video Show. My name is Merrick Larwood and I'm doing some research into how to be a viral internet hit sensation. I don't even know what the proper words to use are. From my research, in order to be successful, you essentially need to brutally injure yourself, have a cat or child, or appeal to teenage girls. The main problem for me is that I don't want to injure myself with some crappy video. B, I didn't even say A, so let's go to C. C, I uh, haven't got a child, or you know, I find them annoying, and I'm allergic to cats. And C, I don't appeal to young girls because I haven't got any hair and if I did hang out with young girls, I'd be labelled a, a sex offender, which I'm not, i like to clarify. People who I appeal to are possibly people with head injuries, who a lot of the time shouldn't be using electrical equipment anyway. You need to buy a cat. Really basic things that take minimal effort are popular. So I'm just gonna go round the kitchen and find bits of food and try and make a YouTube video based on stuff I found in my own kitchen. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't know why. It's some sort of cry for help, I think. Max Farm Video Show. Fruit, pasta. I'm gonna keep it really healthy. I have some peas, pot noodle. Carrots. I'm going to use this to make some online videos. Let's start with an egg. There's one done. One video. I hope they're better than that. Max Farm Video Show. Good luck, everyone. Look, look. I'm pumping from my mouth. God, you can see when people who don't eat the bits on the outside. Ta da! I'd say that was 20% successful. Now I've got things I'm going to do with bananas. I remember used to watch the um, Kung Fu videos or whatever it is. I mean, you can't say Chinese, Japanese, can you? Just ignore that. Where they slice through things and they stayed exactly the same. So I'm going to try and slice through a banana so quickly that the banana remains intact. All these are fair trade bananas. We're gonna move the other bananas out of the way so they don't have to see. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Oh, it was so close. Oh, the problem is it's naturally cut. It's naturally curved. The banana wouldn't stay like that in the first place. You need a straight banana, which is a uh, which is an impossibility. Oh, it is impossible. It's a waste of three bananas. Now I'm going to use the peas, and I thought I could do a man versus science thing. I'm going to see if I can defrost the peas quicker in my mouth than in the microwave. Already, I know this is impossible. Will people watch it? I don't know. I mean, this is really for people who can't afford microwaves. And if you live in a small house and you're thinking of getting rid of your kitchen, this is something you could try to see if it's worth keeping your kitchen in the first place. Oh, 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 oh,
Hugo Pong. <clears throat> well, I think I can prove conclusively that it's wise and useful to have a microwave, but I do feel quite refreshed. And these are more mushy peas, I think. These are actually defrosted. And there was quite a lot of lost peas as well. The moral of the story is, always use a microwave to prepare food in rather than your mouth. Sticking with the mouth thing, I thought the most interesting thing I could do with this noodle based snack is to see if I can cook one in my mouth. I realise I might be stepping into the brutally injuring myself territory, so that could deem it successful. If I could cook it in a cat's mouth, that'd be brilliant. I need to make the water hot enough to cook the noodles, but um, cool enough so I don't sustain major injuries. The problem is, I haven't got a fill level in my mouth. Stage one is to um, make my mouth into the pot. This is what food is like on Mars. A bottle of milk will warp it in my mouth and well -oh. And the pot milk will flavour with very confident friendship. So this is like when people try drugs and then they try crack. This is really powerful flavour pot mobile. Really. Like a thousand chickens and mushrooms in one mouth. You're making my eyes water. What was? God. This is how people survive if there was a nuclear war. We have to do this. Everyone should be forced to do this so they know what it would be like if there was a nuclear disaster and you couldn't drink your water. I'm not even halfway through. I'm going to try and pack the size. It's so dry. It's like sand. It's like... I feel like I've eaten a cat before or something. No one's going to have the hot water and wait for two minutes. Hmm. Mm hmm Okay. If you ever wanted to make waterboarding worse, you can do it with pot noodles. I never want to eat another pot noodle again. And, no, and you can't cook it in your mouth. That is a, I don't care. So what I thought I could do is to see if I could make the popper dom look like it's the moon and have a me see if I'm throwing a carrot at the moon to see if it looks like I'm making the moon explode. In my head visually this looks very interesting. I think on camera this will not work. Also it's very very windy outside so this could be disrupt prove destructive. This one's called throwing a carrot at the moon represented today by a popper dom. I'm focusing. Believe. Oh. Most important thing is to focus. It's just me, the carrots, and the moon, a popper dom. Shit it. Bastard. 
Oh. I've destroyed the moon. I mean, I've got dry pasta and marmite, I don't even... I can't think of anything interesting to do with this at all. Max Farm Video Show. Well, turns out it's actually very difficult to make even a rubbish video for YouTube using kitchen goods. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three of those things onto YouTube. Defrosting peas in the mouth, boiling a pot noodle in the mouth, unnamed noodle thing in the mouth, and the satsuma peeling one, and see which one does the best. I think the pot noodle one will be the most successful because of students who should all be killed. That is a separate issue. So have a look at the links and see how they're all doing. Here are some links somewhere. Meanwhile, next time, I'm going to be an international sports superstar. Well, I'm not one, but you'll think I will be because of the video which shows me being one. Here's a trailer here. My name's Matt Larwood, international sports sensation. Shit. Ah, oh, that's lost. <laughs>